Mathematics as a field of research is being hard hit by artificial intelligence. This is only the beginning, but it's foreseeable that this will get much worse. Much like calculators the devices have replaced human calculators, theorem-proving machines will soon replace much of mathematics. Not all of it, but much of it. That's what I think in any case. Mathematicians are currently somewhat in denial about this. Let's have a look. Earlier this year, both Google DeepMind and OpenAI reported gold medal level performance on this year's mathematics Olympiad problems. What's noteworthy here is not so much that they outperformed most humans' math skills, but that they did it using general purpose reasoning models, not specially trained ones. This took most people by surprise. But mathematicians are not impressed, as Scientific American reports. These questions don't compare to the kinds of questions professional mathematicians try to answer, wrote Emily Rio, a mathematician at John Hopkins University. Field medalist Terence Tao argues that the comparison is unfair because AI has a speed advantage and generates possible proofs more like an entire group of people. Yes, so what? It's also unfair to compare a human to a calculator that hasn't stopped tech from taking over the profession. DeepMind also just had everyone getting upset by announcing they have a method to find singularities in classic fluid equations. This sounds very much like they're after solving the millennium problem. That's about whether the Navier-Stokes equation can develop singularities. They did in this case not use the Navier-Stokes equation and instead were with other fluid equations in two dimensions. But come on, we all know what's going on here. Demis Hassab is gearing up to become the first person to win both a Nobel Prize and a Fields Medal. Some mathematicians are fully leaning into it and work on automatic theorem proving. This isn't a new thing per se, but AI is certainly pushing this to a totally new level. If you need any indication that this is serious indeed, the NSF has a grant program to support AI-supported maths discoveries, and some private foundations have chimed in as well. On the flip side, I've also seen reports that AI-generated maths papers are beginning to pollute the archive. It's hard to know exactly, but in one particularly obvious case, an error rate became a blunder rate. And if that didn't make you laugh, the author is an expert in AI at Google. Mathematicians have reacted to AI taking over their field mostly by pointing out that they're irreplaceable. Community forums like Math Overflow and Stack Overflow discourage or just forbid AI-generated answers. They point out quite correctly that the currently used models, large language models, don't actually know what is or isn't a logically correct argument. But logic follows very clear patterns, and if the waters aren't muddied by spoken language, these systems can pick out the patterns. I think this is what we're seeing. LLMs become good at maths because if you think of it as a language, it's as unambiguous as it goes for languages right after code. And most proofs follow certain rules. Again, LLMs can learn those. However, they don't have any way to tell whether a statement is true or false, like, for example, some math software can. At least, not yet. In a preprint which just appeared two weeks ago, a mathematician raised two other relevant points. One is that an LLM will answer a question even if it's ill-posed. It'll not flag that actually the way you formulated the question. It might not have an answer. The other issue is that LLMs might not not be able to explain what they're doing in a way that a human can comprehend. The mathematician Daniel Litt has likewise said that for him maths is all about understanding. And what good is an AI proof if the human doesn't understand it? From a purely utilitarian perspective, one could say, who cares? A proof is a proof, and most people already don't understand most maths proofs one way or another, so what's new? The 
then again, mathematics has never been a utilitarian enterprise. I think of maths more as a mix of sport and art. It's not really about the result. It's about how you do it. People solve maths puzzles voluntarily. They just enjoy mathematics, and I understand where they're coming from. Mathematics is the only place where we can find statements that are eternally, universally true. This is why I think it's extremely unlikely mathematics as a discipline will entirely disappear. However, most mathematicians will probably soon outsource most of their work to AI and then sift through the results. In some sense, this will move mathematics closer to being an empirical discipline. They'll be studying what AI can do. Andrew Granville, a mathematician at the University of Montreal, explained in a recent interview with Quantum Magazine just why this is so hard to accept. He said, wait for it, we'd be more like physicists. Oh dear. I think we need to update the five stages of grief. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and fine, let the bot do it. Artificial intelligence, I believe, is the beginning of a new phase of human civilization. If you want to learn more about how it really works, check out the courses on Brilliant because I found them to be really useful. Brilliant offers courses on a large variety of topics in science, computer science and mathematics. All their courses have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. Whether you want to learn to think like an engineer, brush up your knowledge of algebra or want to learn coding in Python, Brilliant has you covered. It's an effective way to build Build up your knowledge and train your problem-solving skills. And you can do it whenever and wherever you have the time. Sounds good? I hope it does. You can try Brilliant yourself for free. And if you use my link brilliant.org slash Zabina or scan the QR code, you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and give it a try. I'm sure you won't regret it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.